but just kind of waiting for the pause to maybe be undone or just an admin pause to fully be done. But taking a look into the second round of overtime, quite low buys within each team. So it's going to be very dangerous for both teams now if they lose this round. So if come mid loses this, some players might not be able to afford full utility and more every single weapon. Whereas on the other team of RTS, they can obviously boast out all these guns, such as the M4s, the Orgs, the Snipers, that they really love to be in the hands of Musab and Shooter. But it's just... Each player... It's in the, it's at the moment where it's really pressurous for both players, or both teams sides to do very well at this point. Pressure really keeps building up after every single overtime round goes on, and it's going to become mid to try be absolutely pressured more than RFTS due to the fact that they lost the first overtime round. But obviously, knowing it's a defense-heavy map, they still might have the chance to come back into this. All right then, so bit. yeah, the time timeout has been called in again by Team Commit this time, and both of these teams, I mean, they have, I guess this was the last timeout from Team Commit. They have zero pauses left, and look at the buy coming in from the T side again. This is the first round of the second OT, I believe, and look at the buy from the CTs now. I think there's a high possibility we might be seeing a double up server coming in from Team RFTS. Musab already has an op, and I don't think Shooter is gonna be going with that rifle buy on the CT side considering he has been opting from, you know, the first map. So yeah, there you go, a double up setup should work out pretty, you know, I think this is one of the main uh, skill set coming in from Team RFTS. They can, they, they can use this and they are using this in the second overtime, which is pretty smart if it works out for them. A double up setup onto Musab and Shooter, both of the players one of the best offers that Pakistan currently has and Soulmate has no gun right now i think is that, that is that a bug uh, i'm not sure it's a bug i'm unsure myself obviously he bought utility but i don't know if oh. he where the pause was coming i don't know if he had enough time <laughs> he just has utility with him no weapon though only a glock that is that is not a mistake that you want to go for on the teeth you know what teams are making a lot of stress these days this, this might be calculated you know what yeah, we, we can't talk about that, but right now, I mean, Joker uh, is trying to contest that player towards ramp, and that is going to be up there with that AUG. Joker giving, trying to just give Joker a taste of his own medicine. We, we all saw how Joker plays with AUG towards ramp, and he's just a really good AUG player. And now, a 5 versus 5, it is still going to be a double up setup. Let's see if this one works out for him. I, I think if team come mid, they can potentially take control of a specific side, whether it be A or B side. It is going to be hard for Team RFPS to go for the retake with those ops. Yeah, very difficult having also the retakes. Obviously, close quarter count is around the sides, especially. I mean, if you're on B side, it's really quite open in certain areas, but obviously the tunnels are very close quarters, so it's dangerous for them. There's a slight fraction miss, and it's over for them completely. But you see, a brilliant kill already coming in from HSB, taking down SR, and Trance is going to take down HSB as Shooter takes down King at four versus free retake needed from come mid now to towards four retakes so it's one of them so it's soulmate takes down one soulmate Ooh. takes down two there goes down Musa and trans and now abdul sorry is going to take him out one player isolated back so it's going to be bono and a flanking man in the back that looks to be joker joker could really go huge here bono takes down one player abdul takes down another does not know where the last player is going to come from and now has not got a jump on him loses the gunfight to joker a huge round to win for come mid now Heading into the last round of the second overtime in the first half. Just a wonderful play there from RFTS to sort of force the freebie. But then from Soma, as you see on the replay here, was unbelievable to get it into a two versus three. And then it's just beautifully read by Bono. And then Abdul was just left isolated. But heading into this last round of the first half, it's been outside push to shoot. It's going to have a field shot for the orb. There goes one. And it's going to back away, take his win, and just sort of try and back out. But if you take a look at the buy, you see a Mag 7 being bought here by SR. Is he going to take out King with the Mag 7? 
Jesus. So I saw his still struggling to get, you know, just try to play with that weapon and once I'm asking to blow it off, it's not gonna get out of that one. HSB gets a second kill onto Trance. That was a perfect kill from his side. A two versus three. I said two versus three. Uh, my bad. HSB still left with 17 HP only. And now Bono is gonna go for the bomb plan towards A. And now Musa, Shooter, and Abdur. Can they go for this retake? They do have a lot of this retake, and that is gonna be on the Shooter. Abdur, in the meantime, gets second onto HSP through the smoke, making it a two versus three now. And Musa just take, gets taken down by Bono. It's all. Oh my, it's all over for Team Commit. There you go, Shooter and Abdur. What a perfect retake that was from their side. I mean, my bad. It's not almost. Oh, it's not all over, but. It looks like it's almost over because just the way that Team RF PS are playing, that was a perfect retake coming in from their side. Even though HSB just getting two kills towards A side, opening the side completely for his team still isn't enough. I hit the beam now. I have this slight beam in where Joker's gonna drop 40 kills in this game. Obviously, playing out his mind so far. I'm going on to the favorite defense side now. He's probably gonna sit in his favorite ramp spot and maybe just try to get as many kills as he can. I mean, this was just so unfortunate for Team Commit. We all saw how HSB just, you know, single handedly opened the A side and he just gave the round to his team. But again, they just couldn't hold on to that side. That was a perfect retake from Updoor over there. And now a five. I mean obviously a five versus five, but again, there is no early picks coming into this round in this time because again we we, we all saw how team come in, they like to go to mid and there you go again. The same thing. And this time shooter is gonna punish him for that soulmate gets taken down by shooter a five versus four. Now SR is tagged down to 10 HP. And again, they are on the T side, so they still need to go towards a specific side. They still need to take control of the mid side. Team RFTS, there's, I mean, they're still, you know, on towards T-spawn. They don't have a specific map control for themselves going on. But right now, I think I think this might be just an A push coming in from Team RFTS. There's, they have 20 rounds on board for them. And that was a, was that a calculated flash? I'm pretty sure it was. No, I think it was, I think if it went to try throw a smoke over the little lampshade and try oh, and get it into just outside Squeaky and <laughs> just missed his calculations. It's unfortunate, yeah. but... It, pressure builds up and pressure can force plays like that to sort of fail a little bit as Bono's going to be in a very risky position to take down Abdul and takes him out as a four versus three now and it might be a very quick rotation yeah take a look at the mini map it looks to be a very quick push onto a site and now everyone's swinging out here Shua takes down King with the orb I didn't see the shot but I'm convinced it was a very beautiful flick onto him one player sat in heaven, Bono's coming behind from Trophy Room, and this could, in theory, be match point R FTS, but the low HP can force Bono to sort of spray down quite easily. But Shooter, oh. with the AWP, is proving to be just an absolute menace. And now it's all left down to HSP with 3 HP and a Dream sat in heaven. But I don't think it's going to be doable for him at this point, as the timer starts taking away, and Musa's going to be very low HP. And he's just going to try and run for his life and just falls down the ladder. Yeah, he just misses the ladder at the end. That he could do at that point. It was a four versus one. And he just can't do everything alone. Look at look at how how good he's playing right now, man. 30 kills for him in this one. 35 for Joker. Both of these players were not going to do on the first map. They stepped up their game on the second one where they really need to. Considering that this map is almost on. I mean, not almost. It's over 40 rounds now. So, it's just that Bono is all going to be opting. They don't have a, you know, primary offer for their team right now. In my opinion. I thought Joker might be the primary offer, but he's not even opting himself. So again, Abdur right of the back gets second on to Bono. HSB is going to be there to get that trade kill on to Abdur, making it a 4 versus 4 now. And they have made their way towards B side. Montauk being deployed on by the T's and not going to let the CT is trying to enter the side that easily bomb has been planted one more round in team RFTS yes, they might they are gonna win the game now again Joker left alone in a one versus four outside the smoke again there's nothing much that he can do at this point only has an AUG and a flashbang in his hand and team RFTS yes, they're gonna win this game the second map has been won by team RFTS yes. And that, that was one hell of a match. I was not expecting this match to go this. I mean, Aaron, you saw how the first uh, half was, right? right? Like, what was the score? Was it 13-2 um, to two or is it, I think 12-3. Yeah, 12-3. So, I mean, 
at max i thought you know they might be just uh, a team commit they might be you know able to make themselves go towards double figures and then that's going to be it for them you know but second overtime the loss in second overtime um that's just so unfortunate but uh, obviously we're going to talk about uh, this game uh, after we have a look at the highlights because we have a lot of highlights from the from this game but before we have a look at the highlights i just want to say that the next match is going to be between team divine vendetta and team marco in a best of three matchup and the match is going to be going live uh, i guess at 9 30 or 10 p.m you guys will be uh, we'll keep you guys posted but you know before that let's have a quick look at the highlights from uh game two between team commit and team rips Him gets the first shot onto Rampe and Peaks Banana connects the second shot as well. He gets the kill onto Fletch and now he's gonna get cornered. He does get a shot onto Neo and now in a 1v1. Yeah! 
You know it! It's Pokemon!
And then gets the first shot onto Rampe and Peaks Banana connects the second shot as well. He gets the kill onto Flinch and now he's gonna get cornered. He does get a shot onto Neo and now in a 1v1. You know it, it's Pokemon. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen towards the iGen Masters 2020 presented by Jew Gamers Arena. Today we have our next matchup between Divine, Vendetta and Marco. First map's going to be Mirage and today we this is going to see there. It's going to be Marco versus Divine Vendetta. So match has been already underway. It's around just about to start now. Let's get this going. Exactly. And right off the back uh, on the CT side. We have uh, DB Dove just getting that one tap onto Gunner right off the back, making it a five versus four. And oh my God, am I just excited to see Divine Vendetta play in this one? Because again, this team has been this this team has just improved so much over the you know uh, course of time, and I'm just really excited about this one. Yeah, obviously for me, first time seeing these guys play, but obviously hearing a lot of hype based around them as well as seeing some of their stats as well on facing and things like that. It looks like they're a very strong team here, but obviously I've seen Marco play before when they qualify three down fours, but we're going to see a short start for them as they're going to go down to a two versus four as Pogba's going to take down two players. Ty's going to take down two more players, and DB Dub's going to finish off the round to go one up to Divine Vendetta or win this pistol round so far. So match pause is quickly going to come in due to certain issues going on with a team. We talk about these teams now. So Marco finally got into the event or into the iGen Masters after winning Qualifier Fours, beating I believe it was Ethereal Esports two one with a double overtime and another overtime to close with the game. Compared to Divine Vendetta, who was invited to this tournament based on sheer raw skill as well as their previous playing. 
So you see their lineup between Pogba, Instagram, Pokemon, Dov, and Tyke, all five fantastic players within this game. And obviously we've seen before in the qualifier fours and three finals with Bravo, Storax, Gunnar and Hope, with also Hats being the sub from the last tournament. Very strong lineups coming in, so expecting a very good game to come in for both teams. I was just saying as well, when Marco recently qualified through the fourth qualifiers towards getting to IGM Masters 2020 presented by Duke Games Arena, I believe the Ethereal Esports they had to beat was a very tough matchup. The first game winning 16-14 only just, then a double overtime loss force in the map two to be won by Ethereal, then winning overtime once again, I believe on overpass for Marco. Allow them to sort of get into this, but before that, their qualifier three was cut short by losing to Danjor, a team which will also be featured within this Masters, which they believe lost 2 1. Unfortunately, it was a very close matchup once again. But now we're here within the actual Masters League. What can they do to prove themselves within this? We are currently just waiting for the match to get restarted underway. Just want to remind everyone, this is the second and final series of today. First series already being, I believe it was, I just wanted to make sure we get the team correct. It was come mid, they were played against RFTS and unfortunately lost 2-0. A very close game on Nuke, as well as a very close game on Mirage. But the game going to get back underway now. We're going to see more or less a force by from Marco to try and shut down the economy of Divine Vendetta and it just looks to be a slow push up to B. We saw in the previous qualifiers they really do like to push up really quickly towards bomb sites and get fast control. However, they decided to take a slow approach knowing that their weapons, armor and utility will not be as favorable as Divine Vendetta's as you can see. Exactly, and uh, Team Divine Vendetta again winning the first round. Team Marco, they do have the force buy in this one. A few Mac Tans and Deagles on their hand, and they're making their way towards B. Bravo looks like he's gonna be the first one or one of the first players to enter B site. And uh, they do have uh, one player going in towards mid, and that is gonna be Storex. And now Team Marco making their way towards B. Tiger is gonna be there with his thumb ass, gets like a longest pass, takes on Hope as well. And now a three versus two. Idram takes Bravo down and now Gunner left alone with the with a Deagle and an MP9 into a 1 versus through that and Nade is not gonna land anywhere near Gunner. He still has 24 HP left on his name, 40 seconds remaining, bomb is right in front of him over there and now Dvido with the AUG, he's gonna be peeking at him just at the right time and takes him down and Team Divine Vendetta, they get 2 rounds right away. He sort of expected that round to most be closed out after winning the first round. It's more or less a bargain that they're always going to win the second round straight away. Gunner left isolated behind the bench on low HP. Pretty much was left between a rock and a half to get that kill. Let's well, even get into that spot in itself and take a two play. Look at the very fast push up today. Everyone's just swinging. And now swinging out of mid, there's going to be two players going to be edged around here with the M4 doing very well. Takes out one, takes out two, gets a third. Puts out three players up the top mid, throws an excellent grenade to the back to take out Storax and DB Dov's going to close out the round as well, taking out Hope, a 3-0 clean start for Divine Vendetta, but now the first full weapon buy coming in from both teams, and this is where it could start to get very interesting. Yeah, the slow push once again got up mid sending one done a one three one strat one player hats can be left isolated on its own takes a db dove but then it's taken out by tyke as pokemon takes out storax and now it's another retake needed from the t's they go down in a three versus four not a very good start for marco as we, obviously we saw them play well within the qualifiers but playing against a team of the sheer quality of divine vendetta 
and that's proven to show here now as a wonderful read through this one from HRM as well as a kill from Pogba earlier. Puts it in a one versus four for Bravo this time instead of Gunner, left isolated once again. Just going towards underpass, maybe trying to save the AK or might be looking for any kills that he can. Leave this. Stepping up the steps of underpass, looking to get a kill onto Tyke, who has this really nasty angle. And if he can find a kill here, it's going to be very beautiful. And he does. Wonderful shots coming in there. And it's 4 0 now to Divine Vendetta. And this is already looking problematic for Markle. the economy for Markle here. Very low, but they're going to use a loss bonus to their advantage. They're going to buy Tech Nines, Deagles, and some utility with armor in this round. And then next round, potentially aim to try and buy AKs and have enough money for the next three afterwards as players are starting to swing out now. And Pokemon's got his F4 out, looking to get as many goods as he can. Hats is rushing onto the side. But I hope KG pushing them. Does not get the kill on Hats, but it needs a kill, but... This is unfortunately in Storax on the side with the Tech 9 gets the bomb planted and four players waiting for the push from CT. And it looks like they're going to try to catch out Pogba and Tyke getting nades, Molotovs, everything coming out towards them. Spray down, he gets one, two, three, four kills from Tyke. Absolutely huge and Gunner left isolated alone on ramp once again in a one versus three. He has the bomb down to a lot more economy, but the kill comes in from Ezram. And it's a huge start so far from Divine Vendetta. Tyke scoring 10 kills, but only dying one to win this game so far. If we take a look at the gameplay, you saw four players stacked up just by taking the Looking for Ezra. Hats, Hope, Brother, and then Storax all in that order. A wonderful play so far, and this already is not looking good for Marco. We're losing five rounds in a row. Exactly. As I just said, Team of Divine Vendetta, they're just so good the way that they play. Look at that again. Divido going aggressive towards mid, getting a kill on two. I believe that was Gunner, and now making it a three versus five all of a sudden. It was a full buy round coming in from Team uh, Marco and Divine Vendetta. Again, I, I just love the name as well, man. Divine Vendetta is just, it's just a cool name. It gives you a cool vibe, you know. A team that's not going to let you, know, uh, win rounds that easily. And they're just proving it right now. Marco are having zero rounds whatsoever. And uh, Hope, Hats, and Storix are left in a 3 versus 5. Storix has an op with him. And Hats is actually, uh, Storix is actually making his way towards a main. And he's going to be peeking dvdo was not gonna miss his shots gets like a lot of storex a five versus two now hats and hope left in a hope to clutch this two versus five the bomb is all the way towards t spawn and 50 seconds remaining for the teeth to make their move now i get a feeling divine vendetta are sort of currently trying to maybe get like a really clean 60 you no know, sweep to really maybe strike here, here or fear sorry oh, into oh the okay teams. So you're gonna basically predict this a 16-0? I don't believe it might be a 16-0, but currently looking the way it is, it could happen. That's but nasty. Then maybe try That's to look nasty. We saw how good Team Marco played against a team like Team Dunjur Gang. We saw them just barely qualifying for you know the main event. They played two finals. Qualifiers 3 and Qualifiers 4 and I just don't want them to just, you know, the first game and 16-0, to zero, they're just gonna be not happy about that one. But again, it looks like a B rush coming in from the T side this time and again we have two players from the CTs. Hats with the Macron, got second on a poke by Divido with the jump gunner with that off. Storage takes on Divido with that CZ drum coming in from the back, gets second on a Bravo making it a 3 versus 3 this time. We have a couple of rifles with them. Side, but there you go, Dram comes in, gets two kills, and now has them all alone. Got second lot to Dram, but Pokemon is gonna be there to get that trade kill onto Hats, and this is gonna be the seventh round in a row for Team Divine Vendetta. You start to see what I wonder about by the looking for a really <laughs> clean sweep now, don't you? Seven uh, rounds in a row, no comebacks coming from Mark. Well, they had a control of sight right there, and Edge Dram just, just shut it all down. You just saw the spray of the AK. It was just absolutely beautiful, taking out three players and just stopping any chance of them blinding the bomb down. This is just it's the first game of a tournament, and to go down seven nil, first map you play on, it's it's got to be disheartening. But this is obviously, as we said, Divine Vendetta could possibly be one of the best teams in this league in the Argen Masters. So, or the Argen Masters, sorry. So it, it's. Team Marco needs to pull the rabbit out of the hat here in order to try and come back now. But a slow push up mid, leaving Bum behind in T spawn. It's going to force some problems, but DV Dove, 
believe currently just sat waiting for anyone to push up, just misses the shot and hats. I don't know if that was a prediction shot, if he saw his maybe even crossing, but if that connected, that would have been very uh, I won't be surprised if that was a prediction shot, honestly. <laughs> it, just... If it was a prediction shot, that is yeah. crazy. Because again, now they're making their way towards connector. Smoke's being deployed off towards jungle. Now Bravo is playing in towards triple. And he knows that there's a player towards default. And that's going to be Kai who's going to get both of those skills. Bravo and Gunner being taken down. But Ty gets a third one on to Hess. He's just on fire right now. A two versus five all of a sudden. This is, they're just humiliating Team Mark. Or another one for Ty. And almost a last one. And Hope is gonna be there to get that kill on the Taigan age round, but again, he is left with 28 HP. And that was just nasty stuff from Ty. So, like, he's just. He saw what Edge Run done in the last couple of rounds and said, You look like you're having a bunch of fun getting these kills. Let me have my time. Gets four kills <laughs> before getting taken out by Hope. This is a beautiful start from Divine Vendetta. They really are trying to strike fear into the hearts of other teams in this game. And they're trying to maybe t send a message to teams such as Danjur, Kamid, Marco, and I can't remember the team the first thing that qualified, but they're trying to strike fear into the teams that qualified, saying, hey, you want to step up to teams that have been invited to these leagues, you get to bring your A game. And so far, Marco. <laughs> look at the replay right now. He's managed to get out of a really tight spot to take out two kills. It's a wonderful kill onto the player swinging off hats, turns around. And just looks on the next player who's going to be isolated and just takes him out as well. So far, 8 0 up for Divine Vendetta. This is looking, as much as I could say, it's demoralizing a team. This is more of an embarrassment so far than demoralization. I mean, that was probably the best, one of the best players coming in from Tyke, you know, uh, for I just Again, there you go, DV Gunner, but Hats is gonna be there to get a kill, and there, Hats has killed his own teammate, and StoryX, I'm pretty sure he's not gonna be happy about this one, gets taken down, and now in a 3 versus 3, that was just so unfortunate for Team Markor. They've done well to force it into a 3v3, but it could have been a 4v3 if Hats was a little bit more disciplined with the trigger, but here we go, DV Dog with the special play, so he's up one, he's traded up by Bravo, 2v2 now, and nice they're both going to go to positions of the players now, though, that's the problem. It might be, you might be able to see Hope maybe pushing up towards apartments to throw some flashes, potentially to bait out Pogba sat alone on B. Or are they both going to try pushing up men and get control? But this is a wonderful little place by Pug where he's sat at, just maybe waiting for Bravo to push up with the bomb, or just potentially playing this really slowly and trying to put mind games into the heads of Divine Vendetta here. And right now, the bomb is making its way towards B short from Bravo. He's going to be going in towards Catwalk. He has an AWP with him, and I'm pretty sure he is a secondary AWPer for this team. And again, he, he needs to have that CZ in his hand. But if Pogba can make a play over here potentially, and he does, takes on Bravo, the last third is going to be hope for Team Marco. And now, in a fight against Pogba, he knows exactly where he is. There's going to be a second player over there now. Hope in a hope for the clutch. One versus two makes it a one versus one. Pogba and gets the kill onto him. Marco finally get their first round. And that is going to be. The play coming in from Hope, a 1 versus 2 clutch just at the right time. Stopping any chance of a sweep coming in. Wonderful play there by Hope. You get the feeling that Pokemon within the, the tuck shop just behind him. <laughs> Hope with a wonderful spray down and then takes out Pogba as well. Finally getting a round on Wolf for their team, but there's a damage already done to the team. Pogba and just absolutely swinging up and DV Dov is having an absolute blast with that orb. We're gonna see Edram swing out with hats for a flash round from DV Dov. <laughs> One, two, give him the third. Take the kill in Palace. You see him slowly rushing, he's looking for the kill and he's just no everyone knows he's there, swarming in position and Edram cleans it up. His third kill off that round and his 14th. Look at the stats. Edge round 14 kills, DB Dog 10 kills, Tyke 15 kills, 39 kills. Compare that to Marco, they have double the kills with three players and a whole team of five do so far. They are proving to themselves why they are in teams like this and why this team is so dominant.
9-1 start, and this could only get worse from here. Flashbang's coming and trying to bail out our players, but DV Dog once again, Pokemon once again, <laughs> Edran once again. It's just sweeping oh them under God. the mug at this point. Get them out of the way and get this game over and done with. Divine Vendetta are not playing with them at this point. Yeah, they are looking for one quick game, and they're gonna get it. Just the way that they're playing, they're gonna be jumping towards double figures after this round, and that was quick. I, I don't even feel like I've costed like two or three games. I mean, I mean two or three rounds. Just so quick when it comes when it comes to Team Divine when that I ended up playing that like, you know, like, 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 Mark or and again they're not a bad team. That's the thing. They're just making it look that easy. Team Divine when that are ten rounds for them now. Ten to one is the score line, and I mean. So unfortunate for Team Markor. I'm pretty sure this was Team Markor's pick. Yeah, it was. It was their pick. And you know, I'm, I mean, Aaron, you don't have any idea how good Team Divine Vendetta play uh, in Dust 2. And again, it's, it's not even their map, you know? Yeah, <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing one Dust 2, their map pick. If they're 10 1 up on a pick that's not theirs, I'm totally mental oh as DB Dog picks up the second. She just misses the further store, it's cleans them up. But look at Ezra. Power spots once again, the little boost up from it from, from, from his teammate from Ty takes out another player. Storax takes out Edran before he gets another kill. And it's a three versus one. Pokemon just gets the one of the easiest kill of his life onto Storax as he's just missed the orb shot. Isolated in the middle of Connector. 11 1 to Divine Vendetta. And this could be the quickest series we have seen. <laughs> Potentially yeah, throughout the whole qualifiers and maybe throughout the whole uh... of the tournament. Just, I, I just I just feel bad for Team Markor, man. I mean, I know the struggle that they went through for to, for qualifying in this match. And just look at their scores. Hope on three kills, Gunner on three kills, Hats on three kills as well, I guess. Storex on five. Just so unfortunate. But again, now they're going to be going with the, with the you know, default call. I mean, two uh, people's coming in from Team Markor. It's looking quite good for them, unless Pogba comes in. And he does get three kills right off the back. He's just not letting Team Markor enter this side and almost getting an ace. Hope is the last player alive in a one versus three. Only has a CZ with him. I mean, for a second there, I honestly thought this might be the round for Team uh, Markor, but oh my god, he, they're just playing too good right now. Team, team Divine Vendetta. They're playing with their. Let's take a look at the replay that we've got going on. He's in a position, gets one, sprays on a second, one taps Bravo straight afterwards, and then... I believe that was Storax running straight into his arms, giving him a lovely hug. Storax is gonna leg Pokemon, but just because I'm way of his life there, Pokemon, very unfortunate to not go down. But Pogba once again is in this risky position, and Gunner sat in ladder room. It's maybe gonna face the maker of Tyke. Who is having an unbelievable game so far? I feel like all these players in the Divine Vendetta are just having an absolute blast so far. Everybody <laughs> in a call, laughing their heads off at this point, uh, saying, "Hey, we're 12 one up. Let's have a bit of fun potentially." But it's gonna see a flashback come in, take down tight from Gunner. That was actually no. a decoy. If you didn't notice that, he just got baited over there. Yeah, it was. It was a decoy. <laughs> oh no! Oh my god. Pogba behind the bench, takes out one, takes out two. Storex with the AWP is going to back away with the bomb and potentially rotate towards A, but take a look at number two in the window. Edge Ram's going to potentially get hit through the smoke. He takes down Storex, Bravo trades him out, and now it's all down to Pogba in a one versus two. And I get the feeling he's going to catch him all off guard here from jungle. Down goes one, never mind. Hats takes him out, and it's now a 12 2 scoreline. Marco finally getting their second round, but it feels too little too late at this point to start trying to claw back this game because it's very rough for them so far. Yeah, they really need to step up their game at this point. I don't want to say that because again, this, I mean, come on, uh, we saw team come mid, uh, you know, go for the comeback against team RFTS. So, I mean, they can do it. If they can do it, I mean, I'm pretty sure team Marco can do that as well, you know, uh, 12 to 3 was a scoreline for team, uh, you know, IPS in the, in the in the second map of the best of three matchup. So, I mean, team Markor, if they can, you know, potentially win this round, you know, win the first round, the round, they do have a chance of the comeback. But again, there you go, Storex taking on that Tygen gets another one onto DB Do, and he's gonna get going right now, but we'll get taken down by Idram right off the back. Yeah. 
And yeah, the three versus three now. Bravo making his way towards mid. He get flashed off, but still wants to get that kill onto Adrian. Pulls up, taking it, gets second onto Hope. Gets another one onto Bravo, and again, it is going to be a one versus two in favor of the CT side. They just don't like to give that man advantage to the other team. And another one tab with that M4 onto Hats. They're just... That is just nasty stuff from Team Divine Vendetta. Look at the kills. 17, 19, 14, and 15 kills with four players in 15 rounds. It's a powerhouse team lineup. You take out Edge Ram and Window, you've got Pogba in a team. They got Tyler. But if Pokemon has got five kills, he hasn't really had much to do this. I'm pretty sure he's probably got his feet up at this point, saying, You guys go, you have all the fun. I'll sit back and sort of IGL potentially, but. Now we're heading into the next half. It's this game I feel like could just be over before it's even started. The second half has look at the push. It's just one player left isolated by apartments and he's gonna all do it with Storax here, taken down instantly by DB Dog. Full control of the site and this potentially is a 14-2, maybe 15-2 game at the moment. It's gonna force a force by from Marco. And it's going to force some serious teamwork and game, gun skill here to really bring back this game. See, Hope now trying to do whatever he can, pushing up short. It gets a little bit of a tap onto the Pokemon through the wall. I think he hits his legs. But Pokemon's just toying with his food, going side to side, back and forwards, going up and down. Tries to do everything he can. Bravo takes out Tyken. Now this could be interesting. Pogba takes out Gunner. DV Dub's going to swing out and take out one of Hope. Then Bravo's going to trade him out. Pokemon's going to trade out DV Dub and get the kill on Bravo. Three players left alive to win 14 2 so far for Divine Vendetta. And it is just the stomp at this point. <laughs> I mean. I don't even know when the game's. I, I mean, the game just started, man. Come on. It's just, it's just really sad to. Just know that Team Divine Vendetta, if they win this round, they're gonna be jumping towards the game point. Team Marco, on the other hand, they're going for a force buy in this one. I mean, they have to. Come on. Who are you they kidding? Got a yeah, yeah, come on. Storex having a scout with him. Bravo, a scout as well. Gunner having a UMP. So let's see if this scout, if these scouts can actually work out for them. On the other hand, we have three rifles, four rifles on the T side, and one Mac 10 on to DV Dove. Yes. Might be able to see some. The force buys you said sorry really had to come in for Marco. Obviously, they lose if they didn't force by here, they'd have to go 13 rounds in a row if they lost that eco. So it's the same story here. If they lose this, they're gonna be kind of in the bin for economy. But they gotta try to the cap. Pokemon spots his legs through the smoke and gets an easy kill with the hope. Tries to turn around, and gets the next kill. But there's one player back of so it's gonna be hats and a rotation from Storax trying to back him up. And it could just be a fast, clean sweep here. Coming in for Divine Vendetta and a 2 versus 5 gunfight on to be Bravo left Oblivious. Storax gets a gets one headshot, gets a hit on another player, looks for anything he can, but Tyker's snuck around and got the kill. And Pogba takes our hats, and the bomb plant's gonna go down. And now it could be another gunfight challenge as Tyker took like a chunk of damage here. But the bomb has gone down, the damage is already done. I feel like the players with Marco is just going to back away and try and save these weapons, hoping for anything they can. Beautiful movement, they're jumping towards CT. Bravo looking for the exit frags. But he's going to maybe get one here. Someone's going to out. DV Dub looking for the kill once the gunner takes him out, and it could be a clean sweep once again as DV Dub's going to run straight into Bravo, takes out DV Dub. Now the three versus one. Obviously, bombs already down. Rounds already over. He's trying to get as many exit frags as he can. Tries to get away with his life. There's a lot of damage. Half gone, but being sacked. But round being done with. Match point going towards Divine Vendetta, and you feel like this game is over already. 16-2 potentially going towards Divine Vendetta onto a pick that isn't even their map pick. There we go. Match point round heading in now as it looks to be another force by needed by Marco. And this looks to be a very fast A push to more let's get this game over and done with. Two players this could be left isolated. That's gonna be Gunner and Bravo. Sprays coming up from Pokemon's so looking to connect. Both players under heaven. Molotov's coming in and no he's one player's going from jungle and now it's gonna be a swing down from tight. Bravo's gonna take him out. Gunner's gonna take Pokemon out. Pokemon's gonna take out Gunner. Look for another kill. Storax is a DV Dove. A game of trades is coming in. JB or Edram, sorry, is gonna take out Storax and Bravo and force another two versus two gunfight. And you sort of, in this point, you see the weapons of Marco versus Divine Vendetta. You sort of favor Divine Vendetta just to close out this round and close out this map. As 
it's not exactly the easiest weapons to use that when you're fighting against two AKs. If a mass is still very useful and the mini orb of a deagle could still help out in Hope's hand, but they're I mean, very oblivious as to where the push is coming in. Yeah, I mean, they are making their way towards Palace, both of the team players, and I, I think the CTs are already expecting this, this push. Both players are towards Connector and Jungle, and I think they should be able to spot Hats, should be able to spot the players in just a second if he tries to peek Palace. And they're just taking their time right now, the CTs and the T's as well. And now they're going to be giving out the hair. Pogba is going to be going in for the plan. And both the players on the T side, they're just stuck towards A side. And now Ijram is going to make his way towards Under Palace. Pogba making his way towards Firebox. Hats and Hope, can they get this two versus two? And Hats is the first kill on to Ijram. And now Pogba in a one versus two makes it a one versus one. And takes down Hats. And there you go. Team Divine Vendetta get the first map with style, a 1 versus 2 clutch coming in from Pogba and wow, that was that was insane stuff from Team Divine Vendetta. Um, it just feels like, how long was it this match? It was 10 minutes? 5 minutes? Ten, I guess 10 minutes or 15 minutes. It was just really quick and honestly, honestly, I, I, I Team Divine Vendetta, they were going to win this one, you know, uh, but 16 to 2 is just, you know, a lot of margin for Team Divine Vendetta to give to Team Marco. What do you have to say about that? Yeah, I guess your mic is muted. No worries, but right now, uh, this shouldn't be a problem as we're gonna be going to where the highlights of this game because we got a lot of highlights in this one considering that uh, Divine Vendetta, they just played really good. Um, I, th I guess we have uh, a couple of highlights for this one. So let's have a uh, look at the highlights and then we, we're going to have a lot to talk about, you know, about this match. Gets the first shot onto Rampe and peaks Banana connects the second shot as well. Gets the kill onto Vinch and now he's gonna get cornered. He does get a shot onto Neo and now in a 1v1. You know it, it's Pokemon.
Eagle and him gets the first shot onto Rampe and Peaks Banana connects the second shot as well. Get on to Flinch and now he's gonna get cornered. He does get a shot on to Neo and now in a 1v1. You know it, it's Pokemon. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, towards the iGen Masters 2020 Day 2 qualifiers presented by Ju Gamer Arenas. Now, currently, we I have mean, the these second are still match. not the Day 2 qualifiers. We're in the main event now, but yeah, wow. we're, we're with the second. We're, we're going live with the second game right now, and uh, I guess the game is live and it is going to be Dust 2. Uh, I forgot which game we're playing. <laughs> yeah, exactly, I mean. Yeah. Dust 2 is live, Divine Vendetta taking on Team Markor again. This was just so, such a quick game that no one was just expecting this to end, you know, so quick. But right now, again, Dust 2, uh, it is Team um, Divine Vendetta's pick, and I mean, they just crushed Team Markor 16 to 2 in their own map here. So I'm really excited to see how well they actually play in this one. Yeah, for the 16 to match win of. Was a mental. I can't wait to see what they can do in here. As he said before in the first match, he said about how this team performs well on their map picks, such as Dust 2. So let's see if they can sort of back that up and sort of have similar score lines as last time now. But obviously, you don't know what's going on during the break. Marco <laughs> may have had a little bit of a conversation and talked about what they need to do to improve. But that tap from Pogba shuts him down, and that tap from Storax shuts down Edge Ram straight after as well. So, 4v4 to start the game off. Bomb looks to be making its way towards B. And the rotation from Storax is going to start making its way to his teammates. I mean, right now, Bravo, uh, he has the bomb with him. So, they might be going for a late B push at this point. And there are already Dividou and Pokemon. I mean, one thing about Pokemon, he's probably one of the best players in uh, Divine Vendetta when it comes to Pistol. So I'm really excited to see how he delivers in this one. Storax lands a one tap onto Dibido, but now it's all gonna be on the Pokemon for now. If he can try to just get a few kills and not let Team Marker get that side that easily, but he there's nothing that he can do at this point because again the openings have been smoked off. Now it's gonna be a four versus three. Can they go for the retake? Now Team Divine Vendetta Tyke Pokemon has the diffuse kit with him as well. Bravo is gonna go aggressive towards the B doors and he's gonna spot. A few players towards that position and now Pogba moves again, that's the first kill on the Bravo. Pokemon has been taken down as well and last kill is going to be on to Tyke. Team Markor this time, they get the first round for themselves. Could we see Markor potentially win 16-2 this time instead of Divine Vendetta? Obviously a huge start off with them so far. Let's see if I can keep the momentum of winning this pistol round. But it looks to be maybe... Pokemon's trying to out-snipe Storax. <laughs> me, scout, and he's shining his very best. He hits oh, he gets the kill God. onto him. <laughs> That's gonna be bomb left as well. Bomb down for Team Marco, and it's gonna probably force Gunner to rotate back from his position now at the car and move towards the bottom of the spawn to get the bomb back. But I'm unsure. Has Pokemon spotted the bomb as he's killed him? He, got, ha he has a double scout set up. It's a double scout set up in back mid. So potentially, potentially the team's just trying to get control of the side. I hope he's going to take down Edge Ram now. It's just going to force a four versus four and gets it back to where it should be. But Gunner is going to need to potentially move from his point to get back. And that is just unbelievable one D there from Tyke. Dove's going to finish off a kill as well with a Deagle. Flashbangs, everything, smokes are coming in for Team Marco, but they don't have to bomb either, that's the problem. So Gunner's gonna try to run and take out one fight goes down, but it's gonna be another player out back, Pogba with a scout. And I'm unsure if DB Dog was spotted by Bravo or the smoke came in just perfectly for him to escape. This is slow push from Bravo and Gunner here. Left in a two versus three. Trying to maybe get control that long, but it's going to be Pug with the scout. Not currently looking at long. He's more or less looking at short to hold a crossfire. So if they come up short, Pug is going to cover. If they come up long, which is going to be called out now, Pug may still be able to get this anyways. It's a shot. One player's going to get dinged. 
Pokemon's going to take out my brother after dinking him, but Pogba's going to clean it up and get his second kill of the round and win the force by for Divine Vendetta. A huge force there. I mean, that... This is what, you know, this is the just the way that these teams like to play. Uh, they don't care if they lose the first round. They're just so good with their deagles and their scouts that... You know, even if the uh, next team, uh, the opponent team has, you know, uh, AKs and uh, scouts and mag tens with them, it's just so easy for them to just get the round on board for themselves. And that's exactly what Team Duan Vendetta did over here. Uh, now they're having a full buy for themselves, a scout on the Pokemon again, and they're gonna have the scout fight again, Pokemon. And Bravo this time on the other hand, Bravo gets tagged down to 23 HP. One fact about Pokemon real quick that I wanna say is he's a really good scout player as well. And uh, he's just proving you know, pro proving us that he is one of the best scout players out there. And again, towards mid, tags on Bravo to 23. He gets another tag onto Storax, but Gunner was able to take Pokemon's head off over there. Hidram gets a trade kill onto Gunner, making it a 4 versus 4 now. There is still some fight left in Markor in this round. Bravo still has the scout in his hand, has the bomb as well, making their way towards a short now. Team Markor. And there you go, Pogba comes in, Idram as well gets two kills with that MAC-10 and now Hope is gonna be the last player alive inside the smoke with that Deagle and a dream to go for a 1 versus 4 bomb is already dropped right in front of Idram and I think he has an idea that he's inside the smoke, Hope, he does get the kill on to Pogba gets another one on to Idram, alright then he's gonna get his hands onto that Galil now making it a 1 versus 2 and can he get this clutch for his team? I think Tyke's going to hear him drop down towards CT though, so it's going to make it very awkward for him. But I don't think DV Dove got a call out for him. As he, he may have heard him drop, but he's just seen him there. DV Dove knows of his location. He might just go hunting. He might also wait for Tyke to swing out at the same time, and it's just going to be an easy kill for both of them to clean up the round and force a 2 1 round lead towards Divine Vendetta. Sort of getting back into the swing of things after the last round, or after the last map, sorry. Obviously, the 16 2 round win is, is very good to win for Divine Vendetta, but very hard to come back from from Marco. But 2 1 so far, not a lot to shout about. But can we see some rounds being swung? It looks to be a very fast A push, and it looks like Ty is going to beat every single player there. Give him a crisp high five. He takes out one, takes out two. Takes him down three. Edron's backing him up to take out a fourth player as well as Ty gets his third. And now let's get the fourth player. Edron collects the second kill and the final player. A five-man sweep there for Divine Vendetta. One thing that I want to uh, point out real quick, and Aaron, I'm pretty sure you're going to agree with me on that. It just Tyke is just so good when it comes to the players pushing him. Just like that. Look at that again. Trying to push him through that A door. Tyke getting the first Has a one tap on the Storex, considering he only had two bullets left in the chamber. That is just a perfect play, and he plays really good when he's being pushed by that aggressively. But this time, Bravo has something else in mind. He has to kill on the Tiger. He cover him up and lines almost all of them up one more time. Pogba gets taken down by Storex though in the end. It is gonna be a two versus two. Pokemon and Dibido versus Gunner and Storex. And Pokemon gets the first kill on to Storex. Now Gunner is the last player alive all the way towards outside of LP and he gets taken down by Dibido. And that is, yeah. It's just so unfortunate for Team Marco at this point, man. Just going back onto a point, you pretty much have to such as time. So, yeah, three downs like that. The way how... I don't know if you spotted it within... A four man spray down from Ty because the way he starts spraying and starts putting down, but then sort of realizes he can take his time and then realign his shots and then potentially exactly. stop his spray and start another one. It's just... He has that about him to sort of stay calm and has the ability also to throw grenades into the face of Hats and take him down. DB Dobbs can take down Tyke. He's getting Edron taken down Gunner. DB Dobbs getting his second of the round to take down Storex. And Tyke potentially getting his third kill as Bravo swings into him, takes him down. And that is going to be 5 1. And this is all looking familiar. <laughs> I don't even know if Team Marco they have any motivation left in themselves to, you know, just try to even win these rounds, honestly. They've, they've got to try claw back whatever they can at this point because if, a, they don't want to see two 16-2s that have got on their record, but Divine Vendetta are just, as you said, they're just another level ahead of us. Looks to be another push, and I'm just going to see this before with Tyke potentially swinging for a grenade and take a lot of damage. 
He's just doing a lot of da damage with these nades. The utility is being used absolutely perfectly to take down some of the player's health and also force them to back off and go to somewhere else. As you see now, the short push come from Marco could be absolutely crucial to win this fight. But Pokemon here looking to get his own spray down. This is another beautifully thrown nade straight into the face of Brother and Gunner this time. Taking out, and also Hope, sorry, took up three, took a lot of damage to three players with just a singular nade. And they've pinned them down into this mid area. I mean, right now, all the news they are making a report a short and uh towards uh talking about the ct side we have pogba and pokemon playing in towards a right now and dvdo just having a look at the push coming in towards b there's no here towards b from the t side i think the mark they can try to go towards mid to b push uh storex trying to go for that entry with that off if he can just get that kill on the pogba who i think is playing all the way towards short and he's gonna try to just aim towards that window potentially get a kill onto um i guess uh atrom who's just gonna try to the window. and of course he's gonna get taken down by pokemon through the smoke it's not gonna work out for him and now a five versus three they have entered in their side making it a three versus three now has with the 2k coming in just at the right time but he's left with 23 hp and now Again, 48 HP left on to Bravo. It is gonna be a retake coming in from Team Divine Vendetta or Team Marco. They're gonna be able to hold the side of Pokemon. It's gonna be the first player to enter inside, and he gets a kill on Gunner now, making it a one versus two. Bravo left in the end, gets taken down by Pogba and Team Divine Vendetta. I think they do have enough time to go for the defuse, and Team Marco they just couldn't. Hold on to that side. Six rounds coming up in favor of the CT side, and they're gonna be leading by five rounds at this point. Team Marco, they were just only able to win that first round. That is it. Alright then, Pogba with the off this time, and Gunner was trying to just contest that point, but Pogba already has that angle locked in, so there's no entry for Gunner today towards A long. Bravo just trying to show some presence towards B. And I mean a double up setup from the CT side. It, it is obviously not needed, just the way the team department that are playing, but I mean they can do whatever they want at this point because everything that they're doing is just working out for them perfectly. And Storex again with the op is gonna go and try to peek mid, gets the kill on to Tyke, who was actually playing mid with his M4. That's a ballsy play to play. And Storex just gets an easy kill onto him with that op. And now Adram playing in towards A short. He has a Molotov in his hand, which means he's not gonna contest any player towards A short. He's just gonna try to go for that Molotov and you know why don't you just go for the bait and switch play coming in and there you go we have three players moving in towards a long this time and adram is gonna be there to shut both of them down two versus three versus four this time in favor of team divine vendetta and adram just clearly that was a perfect predict from his side and db dope tried to land that off and he gets like it on the storex now what a movement play that was coming in from db dope just backed off at the right time Seen over there, Bravo makes his way towards B, got second on the Pokemon now, making it a 3 versus 2, DV Dove is tied down to 26 HP, the bomb is gonna make its way towards B, and now again, one more time, Team D1 Vendetta, they're gonna have to go for the retake, and they have DV Dove, Eardrum, and Pogba with this retake, DV Dove has an op in his hand, considering that he only has 26 HP left, he's just having a look at the push coming in towards, I mean, he's just having a look at the peak coming in towards mid and there you go all three players moving in from window and that is going to be the last player for team mark or hope is going to get taken down by pogba and team the one vendetta they get the round against team mark or 7 to 1 now finally starting to come back now 7 to 1 up to find vendetta it's more or less starting to look a lot like last game now where it changed it up from going from Started a little bit close like this. Scoreline was similar around about 7 8 1 at one point, and then it was just completely over with. So, is this going to be a familiar scene, or are we going to potentially see Mark or maybe they could come back on the favorite defense side? 
And right now they have the long control with them and we have Pokemon playing in towards Pit. He can potentially make a play over here, but we'll get taken down. Pogba with the off, got another storage, gets another one onto Has. I'm looking for another one through the smoke. Can he get this one? Almost a tag onto Gunner. That was such a perfect play coming in from his side and Hope in the meantime gets it onto Ajram and now it is going to be DB Doe who is in a 1 versus 2 and Gunner just has this perfect position locked in. Can DB Doe go for this 1 versus 2? Both of the players they're just giving out so much information and he has the off and he misses a shot. Gunner, he whiffs a lot of... I mean that was a... You, you can't blame any of the players. They were just not expecting both of them to just, you know, run right you know onto each other and but gunner he did got that kill onto um i guess that was poked by in the end and team marco they finally get their second round now yeah i mean very well played from there you see obviously a little bit of a story <laughs> legs i believe he legged gunner before getting taken down straight afterwards it's just very unfortunate really was but again gunner just he, he, he's sitting on five kills right now divine vendetta they're trying to go aggressive towards b as well hike this time in towards k and we have storage playing in towards long and a double up setup from the t side that is uh pretty interesting it's trying their very best now i guess double up setups are really helpful in this map you see i believe dv dove is currently sat back of b Trying to maybe orb in towards tunnels, whereas you see the other orb in the hands of Pogba, who is currently sat back onto a site trying to take out anyone that Tyke fails to pick up because he's in such a power spot to do as much as he can. And right now, it looks like Team Divine Vendetta, uh, they only have Tyke playing in towards Pit <clears throat> because Team Markor they make their way towards A long now, and Tyke has a lot of work to do over here. And that's where Tyke is. Get second on Brown will get taken down by Hope and now Storex with the AWP. Let's see if he can make a difference over here. 4 versus 5, a double up on the CT side as well on Dini Dove and Pogba. They already have some playing angles locked in and Pogba will get taken down by Hope. We're just having a look at, look at the push coming in. Oh, As makes his way towards Car, takes down Pokemon. Now making it a 2 versus 3. It's all on Dini Dove and Idram to go for the retake. And now Idram is going to make his way towards the H-Hot. Gets the first kill on to Has looking for more. Is gonna be there to get that kill on to Ajram and now DB Do in a one versus two only has an op in his hand. And one flashbang to work with. Can he somehow make this happen for his team? He's gonna peek in and Storix already has the angle logged in. And he gets a shot on to DB Do. Team Marco this time looking better than they were in the last map. Three to seven now in their obviously not in their favor. Team Divine Mandela's favor. Yeah, very well played so far. Now for Marco to swing together two rounds to force a 7-3 at the moment, trying to make themselves look good to get into the defensive side. Obviously, players are starting to come alive compared to the last match. Hope is doing very well as well as Storax now. Slowly starting to get some more kills to help out the team win some of these rounds, but it might be just a case of Divine Vendetta sort of, I want to say going easy, just getting a little bit too complacent and sort of allowing these rounds to sort of come back into the hands of Marco. Not on purpose, I'd say, but just... Obviously, if you, as I say, keep saying this, you win a match 16-2, you sort of go a little bit complacent, you sort of sit a little bit more back and not as, not going in as hard as you usually would. In right now, it looks like a people shot from the wrong team. There you go, they're just gonna shut down Team Divine Mandela over there. Even though it wasn't, it wasn't a full wide coming in from Team Divine Mandela, they just went for it. Oh, that's right, but, and, like, Left in a one versus five, nothing much that he can do at this point, and it should be an easy round for Team Marco again. Oh, okay then. My bad. Type my other right is. Type my other right is. Oh my still god. Still doable here. Chance coming in the front. It's still doable here. Oh. So I could do it. If it's just it's, it's, not, it's, it's, not, it's, it's just not possible. I, I don't. I don't. I don't believe this. It was a one versus five. No way, Tyke. Are you gonna clutch this one? Store X spams away. And he gets a kill on to Tyke just in the end. What are you doing, Tyke? Four kills for him in that round. Almost a fifth one as well. If he, if he had just more bullets in his AK-47. That was just unfortunate for him. Yeah, very close to getting that round win. He got four kills beautifully, but it's just very unfortunate. If he, As you said, yeah, a couple more bullets in that mag, maybe it's over. But 
even if he had a defuse kit, it might be a different story because he could have hidden behind that box and defused the bomb, but it's just very unfortunate for him. But he done so well to get in that position and play beautifully play once again. Look, oh, oh my god. This game just changed the name of this whole match. Just instead of Divine Vendetta versus Marvel, just make it Twike's <laughs> field trip at this point. And he's having an absolute breeze currently. He's getting sprayed on the spray down, he's clutching up as much as he can for his team, but it's going to lead for Storax trying to shut him out and Gunner as well. But it could be another kill for Tide. Give it to him. Give him the ace at this point. Another one tap on Every Gunner single and time. Every single time. That is just. Oh my god. That is. This is not. This is. This is not the same skill level at this point. I don't even want. I don't even want to talk about this one. Hey, look at this. this is not the first time he's doing this. This is like I, I guess the fifth or sixth time that the T's have decided to push him, and he just completely just destroys. Them. That, that's just insane. It just takes that team completely apart, and it's it takes players like this to more or less step up for teams to help win rounds. But a whole roster full of people that can do this is just insane. DB Dub's gonna get shut down from Bravo before getting one kill though, so also forwards to score first one up top from the top rope's gonna take down Bravo, perfectly thrown Nate to damage Hope, Edge round with the flank round the back of Storax, and now this gets to be another round into the hands of Revive Vendetta. Hope below window trying his very best, flashbangs are coming in from Pogba, and you see Hats is gonna be slightly isolated by Car as well as Hope below Heaven. Or blow window Ooh, into the monitor, Molotov. completely burnt alive by Tyke at this point. And now Pokemon's looking for the spray on his hands. Spots him behind the car, gets the kill. Two because of him this round. Eight, eight, four, or nine, four currently. And that has the Vine Vendetta on their map pick. Playing very well. I mean, right now, Team Divine Vendetta, it just feels like they don't even want to go towards the aggressive players that they love to. They're just waiting for Team Marco to push in. And Team Marco, they're, they're not even taking their time. It just feels like they've lost their motivation again to, you know, just play the, the way that they used to play right now. Uh, we saw how good they are against uh, Dunjur and, you know, other couple of teams. But this is just so unfortunate. Divine Vendetta, they're just not letting them do what they want. There you go again, tied in the oh, same no. position. Gets two kills and oh, Pokemon is going to no. be there to cover him up. That is just so insane. It's just more spray down to him at this point. His left mouse button's got to feel really tired. <laughs> it looks to be Storax to swear on the C says, and that's just going to be another kill for Airdram to boost up his stats. But just once again, Ty, look at it. He's 20 and 8. It's the first half of the match, and he is 20 kills. He is just. It is honestly again Pokemon and Tiger is doing the job single handedly for Team Divine Vendetta getting 4 kills in the last round and now it is going to be the last round of the first top team mark for the real one win this one Storix has an off with him one more time and they have already made their way towards A Sean and Pogba is going to be there with the off gets the kill onto Bravo and Again, they're not letting them enter into the sides and mark or again they're just crumbling at this point. Hope and Storix in a two versus five. Tyg still left with 19 HP and that nade might just take down Hope over there. And DB Dove takes down Storix and Hope the last player alive. Look at it the crosshair of Adrian and the one that I close out the first half 11 to 4. It's just back to back fashion ready for them. They closed out the first game so well when the first half of the first map was mental and this is just a repeat. Tight 20 kills, 16 kills onto the hands of Pogba and Edgeron with 15 kills. It's it's not a good look for Marco so far starting off like this, but if you're playing for Divine Vendetta, if you're supporting them, you've got to feel really good to seeing this. Because... I mean, no disrespect towards Marco. When you see teams like this dominate in this fashion, you sort of expect them to go really far in this tournament at this point. Obviously, being such a powerhouse team spoken about before, this could just continue. And Tyke looks to be facing the major sort of chubarettes. This is going to be an absolute jewel of the century. Here we go. <laughs> He's got to do everything now. He's let everyone go through and he's got one going to tie, but Pogba and DB Dove swinging out. Storax takes out Pogba and now Pokemon's are going to get the kills onto spawn spot. Storax takes him out. Spot. Gunner just misses the kill onto him, but Gunner's going to left isolated on his own in the CT side to force a one versus two for him. 
it looks like he's going to probably be pushing up of window and edge rams looking towards double doors and dv dub might just be able to spot him soon but he just backs away looks to swing out once again the favorite spot for dv is going to spot him not get the kill take a little bit of damage out of him but edge ram will finish the job and take out 12 force to one The whole strategy book has been completely thrown away at this point. They've torn it up and set it on fire. It's edge rams just shutting them down. Even them shutting them down. Time to putting it into the work. Hope gets a nice kill behind the car with the USPS, but at this point, you feel this round is going to be over with. He's looking to get another kill, but the scout of DV Dog, and as well as the Jubaret is pushing into the spawn where Hats is late coming in, weakens him. He's just going to run in. Hats takes up one and just gets taken down by Pogba at this point. The Vine Vendetta are just got the biggest grins on their faces. They are just smiling their way towards a 1 0 win in this, or a 2 0 win in this series. question is are they going to spot Pogba who's in a perfect spot to crouch down and as I say that he just gets a beautiful line up headshot there to take down that both the team players from Marco sorry 14-4 another force by potentially or maybe a save coming in from Marco looks to be a little bit of a force with Deagle armors and a Mac 10 armor but I feel like if this round is lost for Marco and the win comes into the Divine Vendetta, the game should be over 16-4. But it depends where the players decide to push at this point. You're going to see only one player left on A site and it looks to be Divine Vendetta pushing towards that A site. Just trying to do whatever they can, spray through the smoke, however, not connect with anyone on the in position. And Pokemon, that's just a beautiful kill into mid. They just make... As you said, Marco, very strong team when they play against Donjour and Ethereal in the qualifier 3 and 4, but the Von Vendetta just makes them look kind of silly at this point with the way they're playing. It's, it's unbelievable. At this point. It is. 4 versus 5. I mean, they're just. Team Marco, are, they're a good team. That's a thing. And I don't know what's happening at this point. It's, it's probably not their fault right now. I mean, I again, no disrespect to Team Marco, but. Team Divine Vendetta, they're just playing too good at this point, and they're just out aiming them, out playing them. Look at that right now. They're making their way towards A and Mark or every single player. They, they, I guess they just tried to go towards B over there, but now they have rotated back at the right time. But they're just going to the problem. Look at that. They're just, they just deal with headshots over here. Divine Vendetta. Look at that, he's looking for more over here with him, he will get taken down potentially and team to one win that on the game. He has a big game point, one more round and they'll get their first win of the main event of Ajahn Masters 2020 presented by New Gamers Arena. This is just unreal play now. Pogba 24, Tyke 23, Edge round 18 kills, obviously you can't take no disrespect from Pokemon and DV Doth, but when you've got such powerhouse slayers behind you, they can't really get as many kills as they usually would like to, but 
this heading into potentially the last round, it's could more than be done. Right now, I mean, Bravo 76 HP. I think that mid hurt him a lot over there. The bomb is on to heads right now, and I mean, the bomb is uh, on to age round. Drop that bomb towards um, middle, and now they're making their way towards A short team. The one went that out. There's one player guarding B side, and that is gonna be. Uh, I'm pretty sure hats with that M4. Gunner gets second on a DB dope uh, towards middle. And now, again, I think it, it, this might be an A short push coming in from Divine Vendetta. Storage gets taken down by Pokemon uh, towards mid. Bomb is again all the way towards mid. And I think Pogba has an idea that there's a player pushing in from A long. And that is going to be Hope, actually, who is pushing in towards A long. And there you go, all four players lining up towards A short. And now Gunner and Has, they have a lot of work to do over here. Can they get these frags that his, their team needs to needs them to go for? Bravo all the way towards B. Has now. Let's see if he can make something out of this one. All the problems moving to point off. Jason gets taken down by Pokemon. And now it is going to be a three versus three. Gunner, Pogba, and Pokemon getting two more kills. And now it's all on to Bravo. Who's coming in towards A-Shark gets taken down by Pogba Divine Vendetta, the second game, 16 to 4. And what what a team this is, man. Honestly, what, what the way that they just played is completely insane. 16 to 2 in the first map, 16 to 4 in the second map. I mean, tell me something honestly. Were you expecting this? Slightly. I mean, I mean, no I mean, when you Marco. when you came when you yeah. came in here and you knew how Marco played in the you know qualifier four finals, were you expecting the scoreline in a best of three matchup too? I think the scoreline not as wide open as it was. I thought it, where obviously I've heard you've told me about Divine Vendetta and the players they have, the slaying prowess they have, the experience and history they have as a team. I sort of thought it's going to be kind of really close for them to really win this, maybe the whole tournament, let alone just this match, but. Hmm. Seeing a scoreline like that, it's just got to be kind of annoying for Marco, to be honest. You realize how much hard work they put in to get to this stage, and then just to lose like that, it's. I didn't expect that fully, but after the first match, you sort of expected something similar in the second match. But you see players like Pogba, Tyke, dropping 26 and 23 kills within the first match, then Edrum last match dropping 21, even 18 in the second match. It's just unmatched at this point. It's just unbelievable at this point. I mean, I, I was not expecting this one. But Team Divine Vendetta, they're going to win their first match. Uh, talking about tomorrow, we have a big match coming up. We have Team Bren Esports, uh, one of the best teams in, uh, you know, Asian level. Uh, they're going to be competing against Team Portal Esports in a best of three matchup, which is going to be a really good match. So make sure to watch that match as well. But for now, I think that is going to be it for today. We're going to be seeing you guys tomorrow. And until then... I guess that is it for today.
Nim gets the first shot onto Rampe and Peaks Banana connects the second shot as well. Get on to Flinch and now he's gonna get cornered. He does get a shot onto Neo and now in a 1v1. You know it, it's Pokemon.